So we all know that plastic is having a detrimental effect on our oceans and our environment, but did you know that plastic can also have a harmful effect on our bodies, uh, particularly on our hormonal health? So plastic is a hormone disruptor. There's no doubt about that anymore. It's classified as an endocrine disrupting chemical, an EDC. And there's this huge amount of scientific research now, you know, thousands of papers, more than I could possibly reference, um, which are all clearly demonstrating that repeated exposure to these compounds um, can be detrimental to our bodies, uh, most specifically to our endocrine system, our hormonal system. And these um, EDCs, they mimic our hormones in many ways. Um, some of them act similar to estrogen in the body, which is why they're called xenoestrogens. Xeno meaning foreign. Um, and they also mimic thyroid hormones and androgens. And they've also been linked to um, endocrine diseases like diabetes. Um, and there's more research coming out as well about how these EDCs affect more than just our hormones. And um, though, you know, also our immune system, our immune function um, and obesity are all um, part of that bigger picture of EDC exposure too. So having these foreign hormone disruptors in our bodies can put that delicate balance of our own natural um, hormonal system out of whack very easily. So how does plastic then contribute to PMS and period pain? Um, some of the compounds in plastic like BPA, for example, which is one of the better known ones, are called xenoestrogens, as I said, and they act like estrogen in our bodies. They lock into our cells and they can block the estrogen um, produced in our own bodies. This means that they are there's then higher um, levels of the circulating estrogen, which thickens the uterine lining. Thicker uterine lining means heavy periods, often more painful periods. And the thicker the uterine lining, the more cramping occurs in that shedding process that we call our periods. So these xenoestrogens from plastic can often contribute to what's called estrogen dominance, you know, an excess of estrogen in the body, um, which is associated with a lot of those symptoms of PMS, including mood swings, anger, irritability, uh, painful breasts, bloating, headaches. Um, but PMS is just kind of one side effect of this overexposure to plastic. Early puberty, early menopause also been associated with EDC exposure, uh, fertility problems, conditions like endometriosis, uterine fibroids, polycystic ovary syndrome. Um, and also if you're pregnant or have children, it's worth noting that these EDCs are especially harmful in developmental years. So when your babies are in the womb and getting these through your bloodstream and then also when they're very young and their bodies are still developing. So... Good news is there are some ways to reduce your exposure to these hormone disrupting plastics. Um, first of all, avoid heating plastic. So when plastic is heated, especially when it's heated with any fat, more of these EDCs leach into our food or drink. So ditch the lid on your disposable coffee cup, never drink through that again. Um, take your ready-made meals out of plastic before cooking them, say. Um, don't drink out of plastic bottles, especially if they've been sitting in the sun, which if you think about it, um, that may very well have happened before you even got your hands on the bottle um, of water in the shops. Um, you can also take your plastic um, off your food before putting it in the fridge, say, or before putting it into storage. Uh, even better, avoid plastic touching your food altogether, like go to a farm farmer's market or a bulk food stores are becoming more common. Um, so if you can buy your food without the plastic in the first place, that's great. Uh, next, ditch your Tupperware. Um, I attended quite a few Tupperware parties as a child in the 90s. Does anyone remember those? Uh, we loved Tupperware in our house and had quite a few of those parties. Um, but now I always opt for the kind of glass storage jars um, and containers instead of plastic. So think about other places where plastic, um, you might be touching plastic regularly, you know, maybe your yoga mat. So most yoga mats are made from plastic and they could be covering your hands and your feet with these um, endocrine disrupting hormones while you're in downward facing dog. Um, your exposure to EDCs could be higher if you're in hot yoga as well. Remember what we said about the heat. Um, so there's lovely brands out there now that make natural rubber and cork mats that are toxin free. So generally better for your yoga practice than the plastic ones. And also wash your hands. So there are many EDCs that are just unavo unavoidable, you know, in this day and age. Like I think about typing, typing on my laptop and work a lot of my day is on a plastic keyboard. Um, so it's hard to avoid it completely. So just wash our hands regularly, especially before we eat, especially for our kids as well before they eat. Um, hand hygiene isn't just important for avoiding viruses also going to help us avoid these toxins that may be present, um, including those endocrine disrupting hormones. So there are so many different ways to reduce our plastic exposure. Um, that's just a couple. Let me know what you do to avoid plastic in the comments below.